Here, you will see the beautiful option in Shiny app for the auto update data. For this demo, I have taken a CSV file opened in Excel. When I keep modifying and saving the file, you will see the data in Shiny app getting updated every now and then. Now, I am adding three rows to the CSV file and altering row numbers. When I save the file, you will see the data tables on Shiny app getting updated. There are two options for updating data on Shiny app. Very short and nice script from shiny.rstudio.com. Now let us delete three rows in CSV file and see the impact on data tables. So far, in our demo, we had a maximum of 10 rows in our dataset. Practically it will be much more. Let us load a CSV file having 5000 plus rows and see how fast Shiny reacts to the data update. As you have seen here, you can overwrite the CSV file. This application does not throw any error. It automatically reads the updated one. There are only two libraries to load, Shiny and Shiny Alert. The R script is very small. The total number of rows in the script is only 50, including option 1 and 2. In R script, 1000 refers to number of milliseconds to wait between calls to the check function. The session refers to the user session associated the file reader. Check function gets the file information especially time. And the value function reloads the data when there is a change. Next is the script for option 2, same explanation for 1000 as milliseconds. Here we use null for session being cross-session reactive file reader, as mentioned in the RStudio website. Link provided on the top of option 2 script. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Your feedback on this video will help me a lot. Please leave a comment. To see more videos like this, consider subscribing.